Hi, welcome to Writing Light. This is my office and this is where I'm going to be talking to you from. And yes, that is James Lee Burke up there on the wall and maybe we'll get to him later. But today I wanted to talk to you about the workshop I most enjoy teaching, Building Suspense. And to get things rolling, I want to propose an experiment for you. I want you to imagine inviting your neighbor over for coffee. It should be a neighbor you're not particularly fond of, someone who gets on your nerves. But you're going to be neighborly and friendly, and there you are in your kitchen chatting, not about anything important, just having a pleasant conversation. Got that? Now, I want you to go to your kitchen drawer and take out your roll of duct tape. You know, the roll of duct tape you keep to fix rips and tears around the house. And I want you to tie your neighbor's hands and feet against the chair. Then I want you to go to your closet. I want you to take out your 38 revolver, release the cylinder, and give it a spin. Put one bullet, but just one, back into the cylinder and close it up. Then I want you to go back to your neighbor and put the gun against your neighbor's head. You can resume that conversation you were having, you know, that pleasant, inconsequential one with just one change. Once a minute, every minute, pull the trigger. I guarantee you that conversation will be the most riveting, suspenseful conversation you and your neighbor have ever had. Why? Because suspense isn't so much about what is happening as what may happen. It's about anticipation, often anticipating the worst. It's creating an uncertain situation in which the outcome is in doubt asking a question not immediately answered, posing a threat not immediately resolved, raising a concern not immediately addressed, parceling out information. The longer you stretch, the longer you delay, the longer you parcel out information without answers, the more suspense you have. That's it for this time. Next time we'll talk about some ways to incorporate suspense into your work.